Since its founding, America has been ruled by a series of elected presidents. However, what most people don't know is that the United States actually had an emperor from 1859 to 1880. This is the story of Emperor Norton I. Joshua Norton was born in London in, the, in 1818. He moved to South Africa when he was young, but little else is known about his life prior to his arrival in San Francisco in 1849. He became one of the richest men in the city, but his luck ran out when a one risky business venture completely bankrupted him. Like any rational person would do, Norton's response to this bankruptcy was to declare himself Emperor of the United States of America. He marched into the offices of the San Francisco Bulletin and demanded his first royal decree be published. The people of the city quickly fell in love with him, and he had a speedy rise to local celebrity. And even outside the city, he became well known, becoming somewhat of a tourist attraction. Local shops sold Emperor Norton postcards, pictures, and even dolls. Over the coming years, he continued to issue royal decrees, covering everything from the total dissolution of the federal government to orders about building public works, such as a bridge from San Francisco to Oakland. He even covered things as small as banning the use of the word Frisco to describe his beloved adopted city. He had ruled from 1859 to 1880, and his loss was grieved by the city. His funeral was attended by over 10,000, and the newspapers throughout the city ran the headline, Le Roy est mort, which is Latin for, the king is dead. Although he wouldn't live to see it, Emperor Norton would have been proud to know that almost 30 years after he had made his declaration, his bridge from San Francisco to Oakland was built.